latest guitar which I've been calling the Special um, started life quite a long time ago and it's the pinnacle of my cigar box guitar building career um, number of uh, things have gone into this guitar which were almost quite random in a way um, and there's a story behind just about everything um, that you see here in front of you and um, I'm really pleased with it this is this is my ultimate cigar box guitar kit um, which if I wanted I could sort of take it busking which is kind of one of my little uh, ambitions that I may or may not achieve at, at some point um, I think the whole kit goes together lovely um, this is the case I spent quite a long time making this um, it was all made from new wood and I wanted to give everything an aged distressed look um, the principle being that it looks like crap but it sounds pretty good looks pretty good in my eyes anyway um, this was achieved through various wood stains and boot polish and buying old bits and pieces finding some of the bits and pieces in garages and sheds and things um, everything's got a little story behind it the newspaper here uh, I found in the basement of the house and uh, the pages from a local paper in, from 1967 um, the lining is an old piece of hessian sack that was also in the house um, so I like the fact that there are personal things built into um, these items here uh, my homemade bottleneck from a wine bottle quite difficult to make I won't be making many of those but I've got one now that's that's cool um, the amplifier is an old uh, radio extension speaker from about the 1940s maybe 50s at the latest bought that on a, a car boot sale for about three pounds um, and it's, it's actually made quite locally um, stripped the insides out I've kept the original speaker but rewired it put a little amp in 9 volt battery operated amp and I think it, the whole thing just hangs together really well um, but really um, the main reason for this video was to show you this guitar which uh, I'm really pleased with um, started life with the box which is quite an old box I've distressed it a little bit more um, and I found it on a car boot sale for 50p um, usually people selling these things are usually it's the items inside that they're, they're selling um, so I was kind of intrigued to, f to see what was in there and when I opened it up there was a pair of dice and a plastic model of Skeletor which I love the incongruity of it all and so I wanted to make a special guitar that had these little items built into it um, I don't know if you can see it from there but if you if you look at my um, pictures on um, Cigar Box Nation you, you, you'll be able to see them better on my blog site Skeletor's head just nestling in there the dice uh, I've made a little pick taking a slice out of it again you perhaps can't see it but um, I made a little pick out of that um, this was the first one really that I had a decent go at uh, putting frets on um, but the other main component here is this pickup I wanted a, a magnetic pickup for a long time uh, just to, to get away from the microphonic effect you get with uh, piezo pickups um, and the feedback problems and I was very fortunate at the Birmingham uh, Cigar Box Festival to win this hand wired pickup that was made by Juju and I won it in a raffle and so that has been the centerpiece of this guitar all along 
Um, and, and it's, it's lovely, <laughs> I have to say, it's lovely. Um, the other bits and pieces were found in sheds and garages that uh, my uncle had various rusty bits and pieces, this lovely bit of rusty metal here. Um, the knob uh, was made from the casing of a fluorescent light tube starter. Um, the Perhaps the other most luxurious part of that is the saddle and the nut which are made from real bone which were blanks uh, given to me by Randy who made the bone slide uh, and they are perfect uh, for the job. You can, I don't think you can get anything much better than that. Um, so there it is. Um, it sounds even more fantastic through a decent amp but I just wanted to show you it through this thing. Um, this is on the magnetic pickup. Nice clean sound. Just slightly overdriving the speaker so it's just giving you that nice little mellow bit of break up. Thank you.